Hi there. This year has seen some dramatic change to how we've conducted our teaching at the university, and it's forced many of our teaching academics to get creative. In this Culture Chat, we're joined by someone whose work is very much concerned with creativity. Jane Gavin from the Sydney College of the Arts joins us to share her reflections on what she's learned during 2020. Thanks for joining us, Jane. Can you tell us a bit about what it's been like teaching creativity and creative practice over Zoom? Yes, Stephanie, before the pandemic, we had very firm ideas about art school education. One of the big shifts was that we thought about how we encourage students to expect the unexpected. So this pivot to using COVID as the subject matter of creative art, thinking about how we can use digital media um, in that particular time in first semester was really great. We had film and sound and video works as the focus and the home studio was really important, thinking about your home space as a creative space. What's been the key to engaging your students when you haven't been able to be physically present together this last semester? More than ever, we think uh, that it was important to build trust and to build a community of students engaged with us online. We offered a high energy and a low anxiety environment by doing things like using lingua franca approaches to using the chat box, for example, not having to write full sentences, thinking about dot points and phrases instead. One exciting thing that we did that we'll keep doing is we took the students to Locus Jones, who's a contemporary local artist up in the Blue Mountains, right into his studio for a live chat. And we saw contemporary current work in progress and the students got to ask him questions. And now we realize we can be zooming into different artist studios all over the world. And finally, what are you doing differently in semester two compared with semester one? This semester, things have shifted again. We have opened the art school on campus and we now have a fantastic facility. There are classes IRL um, in real life in glass and ceramics and print media and jewellery, for example, things we couldn't teach online. And as a faculty in July, we really stepped back and reflected on that experience. And now we have a wonderful project that we're running called Online by Our Design. There's a Canvas site which we welcome people to have a look at. It provides a lot of resources and offers a more mindful way of engaging in online and blended learning. Jane's experience will no doubt resonate with many others who've had to get creative with their teaching this year. But very interesting to hear her reflections there on the importance of trust and inclusion in the classroom.